What's up guys, we're going to do an unboxing today. Uh, I just picked up a new video card. As you can see, it's the Gigabyte uh, GeForce GTX 680. This is the 4 gig version. And uh, let's go ahead and see what's inside. So it is quiet. They say about around 28 decibels on, uh, when running Future Mark. Uh, it comes with like a driver desk, quick, quick installation guide. And then here's the card itself. A piece. I don't know if there's anything. Oh, uh, just some power connectors. Uh, and then, wow, this thing is massive. As you can see, this card is an absolute beast. It does have uh, three fans for cooling, and it's supposed to be uh, extra quiet. Uh, in comparison to what I'm replacing, a GeForce GTX um, 285 Black Edition by XFX. Uh, I had to, I was running an SLI. Just for like a quick size comparison, you can see this is just a little bit longer, uh, but definitely make sure you have room in your case for these big cards. This card does feature a three PCI slot design, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about SLI. It comes standard with two DVIs, uh, a display port, and an HDMI output. Um, so keep that in mind if you are uh, interested in running SLI, you're going to need more room in your case. Uh, you're going to have to double space because these do take up three PCI slots each. As you can see, the fans don't necessarily stick up high enough to take up the room of three PCI slots, but the bracket does take up three PCI slots, so keep that in mind. Perhaps it's just for support. In the side view here, you can get a nice view of all the very large uh, copper heat pipes that are running through for cooling. Uh, as you can see, it is a three slot design, but the fan does not stick up that high, so it may be unnecessary. It may be possible to bond this into a two slot design but I wouldn't buy it thinking that you could. A quick look at the top of the card here, you can see it does support two and three way and four way SLI. Uh, you, I don't know how you can do it with the three PCI slot configuration, but uh, it does support full SLI. Uh, you can see another view of the heat pipes here, the three fans, how it goes across. And this uh, card does require a, uh, a an eight pin and a six pin uh, PCI power supply. Quick look at the back side here there is no heat sinks on the RAM chips on the back and uh, no heat plate on the back here so this is just exposed and you can see the cooling solution does stick out uh, past the length of the PCB a little bit so just something to keep in mind. Quick view of the end here you can see the copper heat pipes coming out and you can see a little bit of the fan power cord wrapping around to the bottom of the PCB. Guys a quick look at the system this is going into this is my uh, Core i7 920 clocked at 4 gigahertz, we got 12 gigs of RAM. The uh, XFX Pro 1250 watt power supply and uh, should fit in here perfectly. We got plenty of room, this is the half, this is a Cooler Master half, 932 case. Uh, it's got four, or I'm sorry, three uh, 220 millimeter fans to keep things cool, so this should be more than enough to uh, keep the card cool with all the fans it's got on it, plus this case, uh, I don't think we'll have any problems. And then install it here. One thing I do like about this case is it does have the uh, toolless PCI uh, slot holders, which is great. As you can see, we got more than ample room here for the card, and now we just have to connect our power. There it is, all installed, guys. Uh, as you can see, I've gone to great lengths to uh, clean up the clutter. Uh, hide as much wires as possible that would collect dust to restrict airflow. Uh, as we all know, the biggest enemy of any high performance computer or gaming machine is heat. So, the better you can keep your heat down, the better you're going to be. So, pick up some cheap tie wraps, uh, you know, bundle your wires, keep them out of the way, and uh, you'll have no problems with heat. Uh, as you can see, there it does take up, cover the second uh, PCI Express card slot. Uh, so if you wanted to run, let's say, dual, you would have to put it in the third slot uh, with a configuration like this. Uh, these cards is large. The cooler does stick up, up and cover the other slot, even though it doesn't take up the full three PCI Express slots. It does cover the um, double-spaced Express card slot below. So just keep that in mind if you guys want to run SLI with this. Uh, Pretty pricey card, but it's going to offer great performance and be a lot more stable than the SLI setup I was running before. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like the unboxing and uh, hit me up if you have any questions. Thank you.